Hello and welcome back to the Misfits Podcast. Rated five stars on iTunes by Bart Baker the Second. He says my penis is as long as Mason's attention span. How big is that? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know, buddy. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, that long. That's a pretty yeah, fucking big that's, one. That's, that's, that's oh, 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 It shrinks <laughs> over time. Yeah, there you go. Mason's on the show today. How you going, buddy? What's going on, boys? How hey. are we? Yeah, Swagger Souls is here too. Howdy, howdy. Matt's here. Oh. Uh, and also me. Uh, hi, it's me. What's your name? I can't, I can't remember. That's the oh, thing. Shit. I've been thinking about it all day. I actually can't remember my own name. Is it the dementia? Kicking uh, up again? No, it's not the mention. I think it was like Cam. Good guy, Fritz. 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 That doesn't sound like me. No, sounds no. Sounds like it when your refrigerator is acting up. Mm, yeah, it's on the Fritz. Yeah. Oh well, whatever my name is, I sure as hell isn't important. Uh, this is the Misfits Podcast. Uh, we're here again. Uh, it's another week in hell. Um, it's true. And uh, it's toasty, what, toasty down here. It is in toasty. the Sabbath circle. What's been going on, guys? What's happened in the world? In the, what's going on? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, well, the world's fucked, but I'm doing all right. Yeah, I'm chilling. I'm just kind of chilling good. out. Yeah, not me. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm just chilling. Just fucking kinda, chilling like a villain. Kind of coasting, like yeah. a villain. You say chilling like a villain. A That's, villain. That seems a little dastardly. What, what, what kind of villain? Like a super villain or like a Jeffrey Epstein? Oh, just, Shit, I didn't think about it that far, man. I was just sitting there chilling. Oh, you're the one committing villainous yeah, acts. Yeah, that's the thing. I'm just sitting there chilling. I'm like that. What's the one guy from Phineas and Ferb? The Doofenshmirtz? Oh. He's just oh. up to like no so, good nonsense, you know? So like you're not even one of the cool villains. Yeah, you're like the, Whoa, the, you're, the, like the, you the, the you're like the pathetic, sad piece of shit that keeps getting fucked by a platypus. <laughs> yeah, like you're the kind of villain that only <laughs> serves a purpose to teach children a lesson <laughs> about yeah, how to be fuck. a good person because you're such a bad example. Yeah. Yeah, kind of it's not even like Bro, a confident one, like um, like an, a villain that embarrasses himself on, yeah. on the daily basis, yeah. trying to uh, enact evil on people, but That's keeps right. fucking up because of his own incompetence. That kind of villain is. No, I'm just sitting here chilling, mate. Maybe you should oh, get a confidence innator and, yeah. and sort yourself out, Matt. You know? <laughs> 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 nah, we're just kidding. Matt's yeah. not a real villain. Yeah, he's, he's actually he's, just a kind of nice guy. Just chilling. He's just chilling. He's chilling. Chillin'. I think he spoke out of turn. I don't think he actually meant the villain part, didn't you? No, chilling like a villain. That's like my go-to. Oh, so he's sticking to the chilling villain. Like a villain. Yeah, right. yeah. Hey, I tried to give you an out. Look, man. I'm you're committing to being a, a poor villain. Look, dude, double down all you want. It's not going to stop the canceling on Twitter. You're fucked. You're fucked. You're Matt fucked. is over party. Matt, Matt is over party. Self-admitted villain. Self-admitted villain. And not even a good one either. No. So it's kind of like a sad it's cancellation. Like yeah, it's like one that shouldn't even have it's not been even necessary. public, really. Because he's not really a threat. He's a, like a doofenshmirtz. Yeah. <laughs> What's that, does that, what does that translate to in German or some shit? What, doofenshmirtz? Yeah, yeah. Does Probably like translate? piece of shit villain. Yeah, it's something like that. <laughs> I think it literally translates some shit like that. I honestly don't know. Uh, guys, who else watched Phineas and Forever? Am I right? Leave a uh, comment down below. You can uh, listen to this podcast 24 hours early on Spotify. Who is, who is, the, who is the sister? What, doofenshmirtz? No, no, no. Uh, Phineas and Forever. Candace? Oh, Candace dick fit in your mouth? Hey! <laughs> I don't know. Is it as long as Mason's attention span? Uh, no, Probably. Hey, go on. Guys, uh, would you rather be deaf or blind? I Whoa. I would rather be deaf. <sighs> mm. I'm sick of hearing everyone. <laughs> 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 uh, I have water in my mouth. You can't. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I could do deaf, man. I like music too music's much. I know, great. but then you just can't see anything, and that's like the whole world. Can I there. can I compromise and lose one eye vision and one ear of it's like fucking, hearing? Which side would you go? Uh, I would probably like crisscross it, so I could see out of my right and hear out of my left. <laughs> <laughs> that's weak as fuck. You can't do that. Yeah, I'm fucking sure boy. I could. Do yeah, yeah, do yeah. Yeah. They see predators yeah. and hear them from coming each side. Exactly. There's no compromise. You either have to pick blind or deaf. This is a tough one. I honestly think that I might. Oh my god, it's really so hard. hard. Music's really so hard. good. That's the problem. Yeah, definitely. I, I want to be able to crazy. see. I, like, I, I'd probably go with with, with deaf because I want to be able to see, and I would still be able to read lips, and like, I'll still be able to communicate. Um, my my friend had a roommate in college who was deaf, and he got so many bitches, dude. Oh. He had so many bitches. Oh, Chad, deaf guy. Dude, yeah. it's all it takes. Is like, like, your number? Sorry. Dude, it, <laughs> dude no. It would, like sign, it would literally be like that. He thought she was cute. Uh. You know, and, and, it, and it's crazy, man. I remember I uh, sleeping over uh, their dorm, and you know, I had like a sleeping bag in their dorm room, and uh, he was he he had a bunk, 
and when he would wake up, the bed would shake. Like the bed would mechanically shake like left and right. An alarm clock to, yeah, to oh. wake him up because he's not going to hear an alarm. Mm. Whoa! Wait, how the fuck did I get this mechanical shaking bed? It's like a, it's like a custom, it's like a custom frame or something that was made, and it literally just tilts you back and forth. That's awesome. It like shakes it. It's fucking fucking crazy, but it thinks it wait, it's sure. loud as fuck sure. and it wakes everybody else up. Imagine being married to that. Every morning you have to get shaken vigorously away. <laughs> Dude, surely there's a better solution, like a bracelet no, I, that vibrates or something. No, it's not like a, it's not like a fucking. It's just not throwing them around the bed. It's just like, <laughs> you know, like up and down kind of thing. It's almost like gentle i would just imagine i was on a ship or something in my sleep and i wouldn't wake up probably it's just like a yeah. big crib it's an adult-sized crib yeah it's you pretty pretty crazy mtv crib anyways what about you matt deaf or blind just just uh, on you're, an impulse your hearing goes to shit as you get older anyway so probably deaf so does your sight mm. wouldn't it not as bad as your hearing though mm, true true you see those old cunts with fucking ear yeah yeah hearing aids shit? yeah you know i'd rather have real aids than hearing aids i'm choosing blind yeah, yeah. I uh, I think that I would probably go blind, remember everything I saw, and uh, I would just coast, bro. I would probably just just like I don't know. Anytime you want to see, just do like DMT or some crazy shit. It's a mad <laughs> I just, I'll just compensate for my vision with drugs. Yeah. Get closed eye visuals. <laughs> just microdose DMT every day. I don't even think yeah. that that happens. What? Uh, no, I think uh, DMT or, or blind people see shit on DMT. I read. No, maybe it depends it, on the blindness. It, it, if they're br if they're blind from birth, then no. No, no, uh, I think I read about it. If you're blind, blind from, from birth, birth, can you still see shit? Uh, no. Like, it, not. like with closed eyes? No, I don't think so. Maybe because like you don't imagine what anything is like it, at all. It depends. Like some blind people can still see like light, like very yeah. faintly. Um, but man, being blind from birth is fucked up because you literally have never processed anything visually in your entire life. So everything, like everyone else has all this context for reality that you just simply don't have. Well, I would rather be blind from birth than... I uh, have lived a majority of my life being able to see and then have that taken away. Yeah. That's also tough, though, because there is so much, like, I guess it's that ignorance is bliss thing, right? Well, it's just that your entire life, you would have been blind. You would have been able to, uh, you know, because you, you'd lived your life the entire time from a perspective of someone that doesn't see. And I feel like it'd be easier mm. uh, because you're, you're growing up with that adjustment and that's just reality for you. Mm -hmm. And, you know, by the time you're, you know, capable and an adult, like, you'll pretty much be like like it doesn't fucking matter for you if you're blind or not because you'll have everything down pat yeah i wonder if you are blind from birth if like you know if someone says hey look at that that cloud if you will just have your you know, invented your own perception for what that is and that'll just Maybe. be like your thing you know or like someone's like oh this is a red cushion you'll feel it and you'll be like oh this must be what but how would you be able to like. imagine what it looks like in you your head know. if you have no reference you yeah the, imagine the, the, you know people that are blind from birth uh they don't they don't dream uh, any visuals would they they dream uh purely auditory interesting so they'll yeah. only hear stuff that's crazy that makes yeah. me fucked how do you know if you're dreaming or if you're not well like that's, that's the that's the <laughs> weird thing isn't it you know like, yeah, sleep or you're awake, yeah. entirely different story and imagine being blind and deaf from birth like what does that consciousness even look like helen keller was she that from birth though yeah i think, yeah, so, yeah. I think she was really? blind, blind deaf from birth no kidding i'm pretty sure yes that's fucked up. Yeah, yeah that's pretty fucked. <laughs> I actually didn't know that. I thought yeah, no, it was going to happen later yeah, on. That's it's it's pretty fucking crazy. That is crazy. You know her story. You know all. The, you know I know she like she's you know the subject of a lot of jokes, but like her actual story. I don't know if you've seen any documentaries no, or I anything. Very little. Very 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 uh, intelligent. Uh, you know, very inspiring woman. Mm. Like she was able to uh, put her hands onto people's throats. Uh, as they were talking, and then she was able oh, to fuck? know what the words they were saying was based off the vibrations, and then she was able to mimic it. Get fucked. So, like, that's why uh, I, I'm pretty sure there's a, there's like a clip online of her saying, "I am not dumb." Um, huh. uh, by like you know, like she's grabbing onto somebody else's throat to hear what they're saying, and then she'll talk into the mic. It was so very very interesting. She's talking. So yeah, no, she was able to talk. They, they you know, how, how do you she learn able that to shit? Learn like, words. Um. Just through that way, I think they're I remember, mimicking vibrations. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure that we, I mean, I watched this fucking documentary like 15 <laughs> fucking years ago. But you know, I Curious. watched it. I watched it with my mom. But no, yeah, very inspiring woman. Curious. You know, it's, it's not like she was a fucking you know derelict or, or you know 
you know, do nothing yeah, the, the entire life not. because Clearly of the disability. Not. She was she was honestly an inspiration for a bunch of people. Damn, that was is pretty cool. That is absolutely wow. Shout out Helen Keller. Yeah, I hope that she can hear it, but good or for see, her. Or see it. <laughs> She's probably yeah. She wouldn't be able to do shit with this fucking podcast. <laughs> uh, guys, uh, all songs exist, but they are performed by Pitbull, or only one Pitbull song exists, but it's performed by every artist with their own cover interpretation. Which one would you choose? Wait, what was it again? So either every song exists, <laughs> but they're all performed by Pitbull. So yeah. imagine all your favorite uh, songs, but it's Pitbull performing them. Or only one Pitbull song exists, yeah. but every artist just does their I own listen, interpretation. I listen to instrumentals a lot, so maybe okay. it, him doing the instrumental wouldn't be bad. Spin on this. Uh, the instrumental is just Pitbull making noises with his oh, mouth. Well, <laughs> <it's just him. laughs> He's like, That's all it is. Yeah. I'd, pr- I'd probably go with the latter than the former. <laughs> okay. Fair enough. Probably. I I think I would just go with the former, just because it would be hilarious to have Pitbull performing every song. Like, yeah. I mean, I guess if we just grew up in the reality that every song was performed by Pitbull, it wouldn't be that special. But I like to imagine like it just switches one day, and we just have to live with all of your favorite music. Everything on your Spotify, everything, your entire music library is all of a sudden just Pitbull. That sounds fantastic to me. I still couldn't process the question. That's fair <laughs> enough, man. Uh, penis-sized nipples or a nipple-sized penis? <laughs> oh, this is a good one. <laughs> penis-sized nipples or nipple-sized penis? Yeah. Your is it like your cock or like just some arbitrary average? Let's number? just say like average size. Like what is the average size? Like five, five six, 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 six around six. Yeah, so five six, and a half, six, six-inch nipples or nipple. Sized well, penis. how big are these nipples? Are they like the same girth, or are they like a proper penis size? It would, it would be girth, chest? proper, proper. Girth Literal, looks like imagine it's like a hanging cock, effectively. Because like, on this, they get erect. Like I guess when your nipples get hot, it might get. Yeah, erect. that must be interesting in the cold. All of a sudden, the shirt's just like. <laughs> Dude, think of how cool it'd be though. You could put so many fucking piercings along that one nipple. Oh yeah. wow! Plus, imagine like. <laughs> you could get like head from two people at the same time, like on your nipples. Yeah, would they be more sensitive? I don't know. Like, uh, I don't know if like it carries would, over the nerves. Would they ejaculate? No, no, uh, probably not. They're still nipples at the uh, end of the day. Okay. Yeah. I would, I, hmm, and, and that's a tough one. He's no one wants a nipple-sized cock. Plus, like, no one else has the same condition. It's just oh, you. Oh, just you. Oh, so, fuck. like, you're going to get a hard time about this. People are going to be like, what the fuck is on that guy's torso? You know, Can times you, like, two. Cut him two. off? Uh... I mean, it's seriously not recommended. Uh, yeah, like it's life-threatening <laughs> surgery. You can't. Do you it. can't cut them off without also cutting off your nipple-sized dick. <laughs> <laughs> I probably, I probably go with the penis-sized nipples because I just feel like there's a lot of fun that can be had. Yeah, I feel like it's it cross it. There you go. If you own it, I feel like you could almost become like a like a like a social, powerful, uh, social media sensation, yeah, like a powerful image in pop culture. Yeah. Like if you just. Oh no! Like, yeah, I got fucking penis-sized nipples. What about it? You could have like a coat hanger off your hard teeth, yeah. like with Gucci. You know, you like could, yeah. you could you could do a, a million and one things with it. Cover it in uh, gamer shops and and, <laughs> and and have somebody lick it all off. Because yeah. gamer shops is amazing. Yeah, and you should go buy some on uh, gamersubs.gg using code misfits. Yeah, it's what we're drinking. Uh, it's what's keeping us energized. But yeah, what do you reckon, Mace? You haven't answered the question: nipple-sized uh, penis or penis-sized nipples? Uh, probably penis. No, oh, it's a hard one. I'd probably go nipple size penis. Interesting. So a tiny little mm. nipple dick. Yeah. Is that? I mean, he's already kind of got one. So. I mean, you could get like a custom. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> no, what are you out about? I'm just kidding. I've seen your dick. It's not the size of a nipple. I mean, you could get You're like a, big nipple. a custom made flashlight or some shit. That would last you <laughs> just like a little pocket flashlight, yeah. just for a nipple. <laughs> it's so, like yeah. a, it's like it's just the back of a Lego it's piece. Uh, of what's the <laughs> what were those things we had as kids? The little rubber things you could flip upside down, put them on the table, they'd uh, shoot. Oh, up. oh yeah, it's one of those fucking the poppers. Yeah. Poppers. I think you're not thinking through the question enough. I think you would much rather have nipples on your, uh, uh, sorry, penis-sized nipples. Because just the, like a tiny nipple dick is just That's a like problem. Literally like this. Sure, thing. it's, oh, yeah, it's yeah, more true. discreet, like on a day to day basis. Like you, no one like, knows. It's not functional though. Like surely but you can't use that. At the end that. of the day, you have a micro micro dick. Like that's a tiny dick. It is. Like, like that's that's not going to give a woman any pleasure. No, like it might as well not exist. Yeah. Uh, and wouldn't peeing be painful? Because <laughs> is the is the is the urethra like the same size as the opening that would be in a oh. nipple or? 
yeah. worldwide. Well, let's just say like P and just feels like it normally would, and you shoot okay. a little like stream, like a P. So it'd like it <laughs> you, take like ten you minutes. Wouldn't be able, to would you even <laughs> be able to <laughs> to empty your entire bladder out this tiny? That must be you interesting. Going up to the urinal in like the bathroom <laughs> somewhere, just like this. you wouldn't be able to aim it. You'd have to like like tilt your body like one way. Like you'd have to be like standing over the toilet. Like this, or you could just take a seat, or you could, or you could sit down <laughs> like a woman. I don't know. I'd do it like that. You, you, like you know, you know. Have you ever been like erect and you have to take a piss? Oh and, yeah, and, you and, get and it's like with it. either like you have to just like either bend it all the way down, I, I, or, or you just stand over the toilet I, like that. I do a wall lean technique where I put my hands on the wall, but I like lean from a distance, so I'm kind of like <laughs> holding myself. Yes, I get a, like a side plank. Oh, dude, yeah. oh, I would hate to be a woman. <laughs> can't can't fucking pee standing up. I mean, you could, but it, it takes a lot of practice. Real apparently. alpha Chad woman pee standing up. It's true. Okay. Shout out to all the Amazonian goddesses out there who could pee standing up. <laughs> By the way, guys, I'm literally just stealing all of these would you rather questions from an Ask Reddit thread. Uh, Doing is fine. So Renders half the now. internet does anyways. It's fine. <laughs> would you rather be surrounded by people who brag all the time or people who complain all the time? Brag. Probably brag, yeah. Probably, right? Like, yeah, because at least it would be like, ah, oh, cool, I want something to brag about too. Yeah, at least it would promote like a competitive environment. Kind of like inspiring. Where growth could occur. Yeah. 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 Whereas complaining is just going to drag everyone down. Yeah, two crabs in a bucket. Yeah. You know what I mean? Reckon? Yeah, I reckon. Yeah. What's it's two like, crabs in a bucket? Is that like a well, idiom or some shit? Yeah, the crabs in a bucket mentality is like, you know, if you have a bunch of crabs in a bucket and one is trying to get out, the other ones are just going to grab onto them and keep them down with them. Because oh. they're all grabbing each other, trying to get out of the bucket, mm. so they're all stuck. Hmm. Hmm. So you know, if 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 one crab happened to be braggadocious about how good he was, and the other ones were like, "Oh, I want to be good like him too," maybe they'll all work together and get out of the bucket. Right. Yeah. Confidence is inspiring. Yes. Yeah, so brag crab. Brag crab. Brag crab. <laughs> I used to brag about my crabs. It did not work. Let me tell you. Uh, <laughs> Pretty lousy. <laughs> Pretty lousy. Would you rather shit out of watermelon or piss out a golf ball? Let's talk. Oh, oh. shit out of watermelon. <laughs> well, what, how big is this watermelon? I mean, I'm talking like a, just an like average size like, watermelon. Because, I mean, piss out a you, there's you no way. There's you no way. You, like, you wouldn't physically be able to shit out a watermelon without yeah. it doing I don't know. horrible maybe, intestinal maybe damage. Well, the, the human anus is a surprisingly elastic thing. I don't know, dude. But it, do you know how painful kidney stones are just trying to piss those thing, out? A golf like ball? a golf ball? No way. That would split yeah, your Either way, train. you're looking at some splittage. It's got to be said. Would I rather split my cock open or my, or my asshole? Yeah, that's Probably a my question. asshole. Probably your ass. And Probably I mean, my asshole. Knows, that's maybe. a big watermelon. You it know, does. You know, say the, okay. Let's say the watermelon is is, like is a, a big one. It's little, maybe this, yeah. this big. Maybe, uh, maybe the size of like uh, a little bit smaller than a, like a kid's soccer ball. All right. Yeah. Say a kid's soccer ball type watermelon coming out of your ass. I think I'd be able to do it. It'd be hard as hell. I wouldn't enjoy a second of it, but. <laughs> It'd be way fucking better than than like, like a, golf a giant game. kidney stone. Just a big tumor going along. Just yeah. Plus, you never know. Maybe that watermelon's gonna feel a little good. I'm just saying. Hey, dude. <laughs> and then, you know, and you can't eat a golf ball. No, you can't. You could crack you open that watermelon and have a snack. That's right. Yeah, Jesus, though, true. like just the sheer trauma that would cause. You know, just knowing that you've got this watermelon inside your your ass. <laughs> <laughs> it's got to come out. Hey, man, it's, ah. it's, why, it's why you don't eat the seeds, Mace. Whenever you're, whenever you're a watermelon, oh, yeah, they don't eat the seeds. They'll grow in your stomach <laughs> and they'll, <laughs> you'll, you'll shit them out of your ass. That's yeah, all watermelon seedless now, just give for your, that reason. Give yourself anal prolabs. <laughs> this one's pretty good. This is, I'm going to uh -huh. shout out the username here just because this one's so good. That's uh, by uh, Nar Butter. Uh, he says, fight 200 third graders, okay, 200 third graders, or a bear with shocks for arms. <laughs> A bear with, uh, with the third graders. I, I kick the shit out of two hundred third graders, though, and I, they're aggressive and they want to fucking kill you. I, I yeah. probably, I probably hold my own. Oh god, here we go. I'm I'm guess, they're the same grounds, size. They're gonna beat your ass. Yeah, every what you're time. Swagger oh. overestimates his fighting abilities. What about Mace? I get some high ground, boot him in the head, couple yeah. like take down a couple like grab him by, tree, grab him by the legs, swing swing around like a whirlwind, fucking hit all of them. Yeah, yeah. Clack some heads together. At least, Boom. like, you know they're human and you know their weakness. I'm like a fucking a bear with shark arms. Like, what the yeah, fuck are you dude, supposed to like, do to that? The toddlers are fucking, like, dumbass. He's like, a third grader, all you have to do is smack them, they'll start crying. And then they'll be out of the fight. <laughs> it's so just like a one hit. Do, you know, well, that's it. This comment says, uh, third graders, because you can murk the first one and use it as a flail. 
<laughs> so you can like just get the first one down and you have a weapon. <laughs> yeah. Whereas with the bear, you're up against one fucking unit with sharks. Yeah, for that's arms. the thing. I wouldn't want the, sh- the whole shark for arms thing is probably what's There's no way. Me off. I feel like I could confidently take down a. Th- Two hundred three graders Better more than, than I could I'm with with a bear with shark for arms. I feel like the bear with shark for arms might not have the best balance though. So maybe if you can offset him and he gets down on the ground, you can just like yeah. But how do you get him? You know, how do you how do you actually build a it? fucking toll, dude? Yeah, how yeah. do you do that finishing blow? It'd be impossible. It'd be too strong. Maybe you could f- befriend the bear. Ever think about that? Maybe we learn about the shark. Sure. I think it'd we be, always it'd respond be, with aggression <laughs> in the society. I think maybe we, a little kindness might be in order. Wouldn't it be easier to befriend the the two hundred third graders? No, nah, those guys no, are prefer- dicks. No. <laughs> what if you go, guys, Fortnite? I'll buy you guys V bucks or something like uh, that. But what if you what if you befriend the bear and then he just kills all the third graders for you? That's a good idea. Yeah, There's good like thinking. three mouths there. He's got yeah. sharks for arms. Hey, yeah. you're hungry. Why one big guy when you can get two hundred yeah, little guys? <laughs> Capitalism moves together. <laughs> no yeah. hair. For the third graders, you just go, is that Mr. Beast giving away a million dollars? They'll go, huh? And then you just run. <laughs> you just run. You can escape technically. Look, Charlie D'Amelio. <laughs> Book it. Yeah. <laughs> Would you rather fight Mike Tyson once or talk like Mike Tyson for the rest of your life? I'd fight I'll him fight once. him. Fight him. Just him. get the shit kicked out of you once. Get you over be like, it. okay, punch me in the face. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> I don't know, guys. I might. Th- <laughs> I don't even know how to talk like Mike Tyson. He's got you fucking swing at me. Yeah, I don't think he sounds that weird. He does sound that like weird. He's sounds, got a lisp. Yeah, I like listening to Mike Tyson. I think I might. Would it be in gloves or bare knuckles? <laughs> gloves. Well, oh. sure. You get your ass beat either way. It doesn't but matter. Right? You don't know that. Well, oh, yeah, you're going to beat Mike Tyson. I reckon I could beat the shit out of him with bare oh, fists. Can, we, can someone clip fuck. that and add him or some no, shit? No, sure, no, 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 you no. don't want Mike Tyson <laughs> smoke, dude. Want. Have you seen him? Like, recently seen him he, in his prime. It's well, recently he announced he was going to get back into boxing. Have you Ooh. seen him swing at those fucking bags, dude? I don't dude? know. One hit to the head can do a lot of damage. Not There's no him, way you're bro. reaching that Yeah, but he can do head. like 20 hits in that time you do one. He's mate. fucking insane, You're talking about one of the greatest boxers of all time. He could take the bear with sharks for him. Yeah, probably. I'll take my money on him. He could take him both. Both. You take jab. it both at once. One jab. <laughs> one one jab, jab. Be over. Look, as someone who's fought Mason in the ring, he might be onto something here. <laughs> True. Uh, he might be onto something. I don't know. I would probably rather speak like Mike Tyson for the rest of my life just because I think he's a nice guy and I don't want to fight him, you know? Like, I would rather work it out and then have a lisp. You but know. then you'd think you're, he's make, yeah, you'd think you're making he fun of him. He, 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 he can break your jaw and you get a lisp anyways. <laughs> yeah, see? so True. Yeah. But what Matt said is true. Like He might think that I'm making fun yeah, of him. Yeah, then he's going to fucking fight you. Yeah, yeah, it's just a lose-lose, <laughs> both of those. <laughs> Cat with human face or dog with human hands? We're talking for a pet here in your house. Dog with human hands, because it could give me a back rub. And yeah, so yeah. True. And, like, I can't just imagine a cat with a human face going, meow. I would fucking, <laughs> meow. I would fucking hate that shit. That's so true. Yeah, Dog no with thanks. human hands all day. Also, cats are kind of jerks, and like I don't want to have to look at that resting bitch face all oh, day. Yeah, right? yeah. Cat with, uh, I don't want to see it lick itself either. Like, <laughs> oh, that. true. Uh, it's like a male like face as well, like just licking its own. Just ass. imagine a dog with just human hands for feet. He's just like <laughs> looking at you. Like, just, just I'd be sick. Waves at you. <laughs> he could pet you too. Yeah, think he, of all the tricks you, you could up, Think of all the tricks you could teach him. That'd be insane. Yeah, he could dap you up, dog, roll my joint. He might be a handful though. Like, what if he's mm. a, a bit of a troublemaker? What if he like starts picking up a shit and throwing it or something? You know? <laughs> oh, Opposable yeah. thumbs on a dog could be problematic. You it's never true. Know. Oh yeah, the doggy gate wouldn't work. You just fucking open that shit right away. <laughs> it just yeah. unlocks everything. Steals your car and shit. Uh, would you rather change gender every time you sneeze or not be able to tell the difference between a muffin and a baby? <laughs> 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 That's by Dr. Hammer. I think changing, changing genders every time I sneeze would be cool because that way, you know... If I, if I wanted to if I go into the girls' locker room, all I have to do is put some black pepper up my nose and bazinga. Yeah. I have a there pussy. You, True. As you know, as commit you're... a murder as a man, black pepper, woman. Oh, he went that way, sir. It would be kind of funny not being able to tell the difference yeah. between a muffin and a baby. I mean, though. as long as you don't heat up your muffins in the microwave, <laughs> you'll be fine, right? <laughs> Someone brings in the child. Oh, that thing looks delicious. Can I have some? <laughs> I just want to eat it. <laughs> you're you're at, the, at the cafe ordering a muffin. She asks you if you would like it heated up. You're like, oh, my God, please don't be a baby. Please don't be a baby. Please don't be a fucking baby. <laughs> ah, I was a baby. Fucking zapped in the microwave immediately. Uh, yeah, it's kind of a strange one. I'm not going to lie to you. It's a pretty good one. Oh, God, this one is just disgusting. I don't even know if I want to read this one. Uh, sure, go for it. Got we cut it out of its shit. If you were one inch inside your mum. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, oh, God damn this it. One. And your dad's <laughs> one inch in you, which way would you wriggle out? So 
this is a predicament. It's like, like so, would you rather go forward or backwards? Yeah, so, I can't go sideways, so no, they both. The only way is either the back can into your dad, thus thrusting his penis further into your asshole, or thrust into your mom, <laughs> thus putting your penis further into your mom. To get out of the situation, that's fucking disgusting. It's like it's those, <laughs> those I'm, back, I'm back, yeah. I'm back, back, yeah. Out. back out, yeah. Yeah, I, oh, yeah. I reckon, like, I reckon, I probably would too. Yeah, I mean, he's already one inch in there. It's not going to hurt that much more, you know. It's a good father son bonding moment too, you know. Plus, it's I can like, make the best of it. I feel like you could get over it with your dad, but I couldn't get over <laughs> like. How do you get stuck in that situation? <laughs> <laughs> hey man, you know, like it's like a new, it's like a new drinks. fucking saw torture thing. It's like a new test from oh. Jigsaw. Chine- Chinese incest trap, you know. Yeah, He's fucking stuck in a predicament. <laughs> <Chinese incest>. <laughs> 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 yeah, you just you get drugged and you just wake up in this situation. Yeah, it's like Eric Would you like to play movie? a game? <laughs> uh, you either watch your parents have sex every night, eyes wide open, or join them once to make it stop. So every night you have to witness this eyes wide open, clockwork orange style. Every single night you have to watch them have sex. Let's say for a minimum of 30 minutes. Or you join 30 them, minutes? Or you, I mean, I've already heard it. So it's like, <laughs> oh. Yeah, but every night for the rest of your life. Yeah, but it'd become natural. Like, yeah, in a fucked up like, kind of way. Yeah, it'd just you be probably like, just tune it out. Um, yeah, this is happening again. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, or I mean, you just join them once. Yeah, I mean, nah, why sit I there? Join. Yeah, I wouldn't join. I wouldn't join. Why sit there and get blue balled that long? Just jump in already. Get it <laughs> over. <laughs> I mean, Matt, I know you're from the south, but this is a bit of a more difficult question than that. But I almost want to agree with you, Matt, because sure it would be uncomfortable, and sure, like no one wants to do that or even think about that. It's disgusting. But I mean, it's the only way to live the rest of your life in peace. You know, I mean, imagine like you had a really long day at work. Fucking boss was riding your ass. Mm. Then your you gotta watch him ride her ass, you know. Yeah, the girlfriend's like talking your ear off, you know. The bills are overdue. You're fucking, you're absolutely depressed. Still, before bed, you have to allocate at least 30 minutes to watch your parents have sex. That's a lot of time. How much is 30 minutes per day? What's 30 times like 300? That's like. Mm, it's a lot of minutes. Uh, yeah, it's a lot of minutes. <laughs> that's a lot of minutes. I think I'm tag teaming in there for myself. Just get it over with. Like, how <laughs> is there a time limit? How long you gotta be involved there? Uh, Let's say it's the 30 minutes. Oh. Can I get involved and just be like, yeah, you you do it. Awesome. Yeah, I mean, there, is, then, no, you know, there has to really be some kind of uh, actual insertion somewhere or another. Uh, yeah, the uh, next question. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I hope my parents don't listen to this one. <laughs> Would you rather be stung all over by millions of bees Ooh. or stomp a kitten? Bees. Kitten. The bees. bees would kill you. Bees, bees would kill you. Bees. The bees might kill you. Bees. Bees are going to kill you. Kill, bees. you. kill or be killed. I'm sorry. That kitten's going to die, mate. Bees. <laughs> what do you reckon? I mean, I'm going with Matt on this yeah. one. <laughs> oh, I didn't want to say it, but I think I'm team kitten as well. Yeah. That's a lot of bees, Swacker. I could a million with... bees will kill you. It doesn't you, have to be your kitten. I know you're about to get one. You'd be yeah. one swollen cunt, too. You'd... Yeah, yeah, you'd be dude. swollen. You'd be like the elephant man. <laughs> yeah, you'd be sick life. as. I could, I, could be, I could make a YouTube video. I, I got stung by One million a, a million bees, bees yeah. and this is my story. I lived in that story. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get that to Mr. Uh, I, 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 I look like Kylie bees. Jenner with those lips afterwards, though. <laughs> How dare you? Kylie Jenner looks disgusting. Would you rather have <laughs> sex with your cousin and no one ever finds out or not have sex with your cousin but everyone thinks you did? So either you have sex with your cousin once, no one fucking ever knows about it. Third? Or everyone thinks you did first, you second, like. or third cousin. First. What the fuck? fuck. <laughs> Can we settle on third? No. <laughs> these are supposed to be difficult. Would you rather? I probably the probably the latter because really? at least I can make a joke out of it. Really? I you don't have to so. come on her. I don't want to. I don't want to <laughs> fuck my cousin. <laughs> you dirty dog. What the fuck? Neither do I. <laughs> None of us want to fuck our cousins. Clearly. Right. But. <laughs> Everyone oh. thinking that you fucked your cousin for the rest of your life, even though you didn't? Yeah, it wouldn't bother me because I know the truth. But your entire Everyone family th- and, let's say, the internet knows that you fucked your cousin. Or thinks that I fucked my cousin. Yeah. We, but we, to them, they we, know. Thinks. We yeah. all know you fucked your cousin, dude. <laughs> See? This is what it's like. No one will believe you. Mm. You'll be constantly You'd be known as the cousin that. fucker for, like, the rest of your life. Mm. And Try can I just I, say that I it says... Know, I don't think I have any hot cousins. That doesn't matter. It's just a, it's a situation, okay? It's not about actually being attracted to your cousin. Well, I mean, that would help. 
<laughs> Look, and can I just say that it says everyone thinks you did, which means that it's everyone, even everyone. the cousins, even the Pope thinks oh, you did that. Even dude, the cousin fuck. thinks that you fucked her or him. All right, I probably fuck her. Yeah, I'd probably fuck. I'd probably fuck him. I'd take the beating. <laughs> I'd take, be- take like, the beating from everyone. If, if really? They, yeah. yeah. I'd I don't think it'd be like, worth it. Going through life that long. I don't think it's worth it, bro. It's your entire, your entire life. Everyone thinks you did. <sighs> and no one's going to believe you no matter what you say. You can that, nah, it didn't happen. Like, sure, cousin what? fucker. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, might as well just get it over with. Yeah, probably get it over well, with. This re- yeah, just get a quick route. No one knows anything. Yeah, well, that's what this Reddit uses. Not even says. a cousin. He says, is there a downside to the first option? <laughs> <laughs> Kate Kona. Um, <laughs> hang on. Would you rather everyone be twice your age and talk like an adult from Charlie Brown or everyone half your age and talk like a minion? Oh my God. Wait, say that again. Would you rather have That's everyone in the world be twice your age and talk like an adult from Charlie Brown or everyone half your age and younger talk like a minion? Uh, people are pretty stupid. Do you know the, do you know anyway, the Charlie so Brown one, Mace? Nah. The Charlie Brown one, like all the adults in Charlie Brown, they go, wah, 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 wah. So, so no real words. No real words. Just but wah, wah. then there's minions that are like, <laughs> and, and you know that one would make me want to kill myself <laughs> substantially but more than the first least, option. At least they can't say banana. They could say banana. They could also say, um, I. Uh, Are these the ones you're gonna have to fight too? Like you say, like uh, a tiger bear, or whatever. Uh, is, <laughs> it, could, could they could they at least say the quotes that all middle aged mothers share on Facebook, like um, <laughs> like sh- something about wine or or like. <laughs> Yeah, you hating my ki- my children mm. or something like that. Mm-hmm. I think this is just a lose lose. Yeah, yeah, I'd probably go with the first. Yeah, because I'd, I'd rather them be older than younger than me. Plus, that means that you would be like the smartest person because True. everyone older than you just is talking nonsense. And hey, you get a wife; she's twice as old as you. Sure, whatever, but you won't have to actually listen to her. Wah, wah. Exactly. <laughs> would you rather have sex with a hot female body, with a Garfield the cat head? Yes. Yes, absolutely. Or a hot female head and a Garfield body, but if you choose the Garfield head, it will be loudly meowing the entire time. I mean, that's what earplugs are for. Yeah, I would just do that's pretty easy. Like, there's no way I'm fucking a furry ass cat with a female head. That's horrific. Yeah. However, hot female body, Garfield head, win win. That's pretty sick. IMO. I'd fuck. IMO. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you're kind of into the tiger shit. Yeah, yeah I mean, true, <laughs> but like it's Garfield's body, you know. And make, yeah, uh, make Garfield love Mondays. And he's fat too. He's a big boy. Yeah, Garfield's not yeah, particularly sexy. Plump. Would you rather have a bad hand job from your grandmother? Oh, God. <laughs> or a good hand job from your grandmother? <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, uh, probably, probably bad. Probably bad. Probably bad. Because I wouldn't want to yeah. yeah, I wouldn't want to like repeat the... Pr- I, wouldn't I wouldn't want to be tempted. Yeah, I wouldn't want to be tempted. <laughs> God damn, that was disgusting, but that shit felt pretty good. Damn, she knows a lot. <laughs> you, Mace? Oh, no comment on that one. <laughs> they say wisdom comes with age, but Jesus. Would you rather get stuck at a? Re- at, would you rather get stuck at all red lights in traffic? So every time oh, you hit an intersection, fuck. you hit a red light, or have Whatever incredibly slow dial-up internet after dark every night. So either like, oh, that's horrible. Every intersection is always a. Oh, ride. easy. I'll just go for a drive at night then. No, that it's every. Yeah, every night I'll just go for a drive instead of playing games. There you go. Uh, so you're saying, it'll be nothing wanna, but so green lights. You're saying you just yeah. won't use the internet at night. Yeah, it'll be nothing but that, green lights the whole I mean, way. That is Easy. that is a way to enjoy the best of both worlds. Yeah, but I like using the internet after dark. I do too. How else am I going to watch porn? I didn't hear that one. What was it? <laughs> so either like every time you get up to a, like the intersection and see the lights, yeah, it's a red light every time. So you have to come to a full stop. You have to wait. Or after dark every night. You have dial-up internet. You have really slow internet, like painful. Oh, just slow. get a graveyard shift. Work third shift. There you go. <laughs> True. Uh, I would probably, I probably do red lights. Yes, yeah, um, probably do red lights. I don't no drive lot. enough to really. True. Care. Red lights for me too. Yeah. Yeah. Doesn't matter yeah, that man. much. This guy just says this thread is giving me anxiety. I don't know. Are we done with these? It's <laughs> kind of fun. I've kind of enjoyed just going over these. Yeah, dude. Chris, uh, <laughs> questions. <laughs> would you rather eat ice cream flavored poop or poop flavored ice cream? Ice cream, ice cream flavored shit. Yeah. Where the thing is, Poop does it still have like E. coli and disease? Does it have the same texture as shit though? Yeah. So it's a literal piece of shit uh, that tastes like ice cream. Yeah, like let's let's talk about like a healthy shit. 
you know, like you could eat it, you probably won't die. Might get a little sick. I'd, I mean, I, I'd, I'd, I'd actually eat the ice cream, to be honest. Ice cream that tastes, that tastes like, like shit? Because <laughs> it's like, at least it's liquidy and you just like slurp it up really quick. See, this yeah, guy clearly hasn't done. tasted human shit before because that shit is not good. Mm. Let me tell you, it's disgusting. I would shit probably could have a variety of tastes. That's true. Depending on what you eat. Is it like yeah, you can true. go to like the ice cream place and then you get like the little samples, decide which like stool you want to eat and go with that one? <laughs> sure. You can you can okay. sample as much yeah, shit yeah, as you I'll like. I'll do that, that one then. <laughs> you really want to eat more shit than you have to? This <laughs> fucking reminds me. This reminds me when I was younger and I, I used to like, this was in the summer. I was like fucking 11 or, or like nine. No, I was like 10 or 11. And my friend showed me two girls, one cup. And I, and I wasn't able to uh, eat chocolate ice cream for like, oh, really? it, it must have been eight or nine months. Uh, yeah. Same yeah, with me, but I couldn't eat vomit for like me. years. <laughs> 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 All right, next question. Is it weird I still haven't seen that? Like I know what it is, but I uh, haven't we, seen we it. We know we're fucking uh, throwing on the movies Oh, tonight. movie night, boys, let's go. <laughs> Two <laughs> girls, <laughs> one cup, bro. Let's get going. Would you rather know how you're going to die or when you're going to die? So you don't know your cause mm. of death or when it's going to happen. Date and time. I would say date and time. I'd say date and time because it would give me perspective on how much time I have left. Actually, yeah. I was going to say the former, but at least then you like wouldn't have an anxiety. Yeah. Yeah, like, oh, like, I know how I'm going to die, but when's it going to happen? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's like, way worse. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, like, it's like, okay, well, I could die this horrible death either tomorrow. Unless it was like, you know, you lucked out and it was like, die peacefully in your sleep. Then it's like, oh, cool. It's probably be in. But it's you know. tonight. <laughs> but yeah, you know, like, that's the thing. Because yeah. every time you go to sleep, you're going to be like, oh, shit. I just won't sleep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You won't, you won't, you won't know which heroin overdose is going to do it to you. Yeah. <laughs> you just, and shoot up one night and not wake up. I mean, knowing like when you're going to die, like you would hope that it would be something really interesting. Like you die by some like a nickel falling off a building. A fucking bear with tie or sharks for arms or some <laughs> shit like that. 200 <laughs> second graders. I swear, I'm either going to die by like choking on food alone or something stupid <laughs> oh or, or like or like fucking uh, getting into a car accident that you know, wasn't my fault. Uh, those are like the two things that I think are most likely. Dude, choking on food's fucked. Yeah, dude. Like, I've choked a couple times and it is scary. Like, really? one time I had to, like, full reach down my... Like, I, I like, choked on my bacon. It's always been bacon yeah. that I've choked on. And, like, I choked and I was, like, sitting there, like, trying to get my breath back. And I finally got the panting back. And I had to, like, reach down my throat to pull out the bacon. It was oh. fucking... Yeah. It was terrifying. I did that with... Ch I, I was eating cherry tomatoes. This was right after my dad left from work over the summer on a vacation. My sister wasn't home. I was literally alone in my house. I was eating cherry tomatoes. I pop one in my mouth. It goes right into my throat and just lodges itself oh. right in the center so of my not throat. you chew it? You just like... It, <laughs> uh, it, I, I had like two in my mouth. I chewed one and then swallowed and accidentally swallowed the other one. Oh. So it just oh. got lodged in there. I literally, literally couldn't breathe out of my nose, couldn't breathe out of my mouth. It was completely vacuumed, oh, like oh. sucked. And I couldn't swallow. I couldn't, and I was literally... Like, my dad had just left. Uh, I didn't have my phone on me. It was upstairs. And I was just like, you know, like trying to move it up. It wasn't working. And like, it was like fucking 30 seconds past. And I was like fucking dizzy. And I was freaking out. I think I was going to die. I ran to the kitchen and I started bashing my stomach against the corner of the table. And that's what was a, it was like a Heimlich maneuver kind of mm -hmm. thing. And it was, and it shot it out of my, out of my throat. And I could breathe. Yep. You know, what are you, what are you supposed you to know? do in that situation? I exactly, heard something like that. Like, exactly that. Like like said. Exactly <laughs> what I just <laughs> said. That's what my, you know, what my mom always told me. If you ever choking alone, find a table, just find a bash table, your stomach, bash your stomach against the corner of the table, and it'll work. So hear that, guys. Take yeah. your time. Take Enjoy your time. Your masticate. Your masticate. Your food. <laughs> masticate your food. and savor your food. Don't be a, don't be a pig like me. Masticate and masturbate. At, uh, the only two things you need in life. I am a. Would you rather speak every language fluently or play every instrument perfectly? Ooh, oh, that's a positive one. That's kind of a nice one. It's like I a candy language. Story. Language would language be, be very interesting. Language would be cool, but music oh, would be like, you know, you can get a career out of that too. You, you could do that like any time, like at home, like any time of day you could do that shit, but it's like trying to find someone that speaks the same language that you're wanting to speak. You'd have to travel the world more, but then you'd see more of the world. Yeah. I mean, I, for me, it's pretty mm. easy because I'm just super into music. I think I'd definitely choose I'd, I'd instrument. probably choose music, too, because mm. I'd love to be able to express oh, myself yeah. through music. Yeah. You know, like, knowing all the languages is cool. If I wanted, like, a government job or to, like, you know, do international shit. But just travel would be yeah, so travel, pleasurable. It would be, it'd be, it'd be amazing. Cool if you're in the military or something. Yeah. You could yeah. speak other languages. Like, I'd probably, like, 
because like i mean if i wasn't a bit of a pussy i'd probably be in the military but <laughs> reckon? yeah like i'd love to just fucking like sit down and be like fucking blah 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 to this person like they know exactly what i'm saying and yeah like, translate you'd well, definitely be yeah. very useful in the military if you speak every yeah, language exactly. shit done quick. You'd, you'd probably yeah you'd, you'd you'd be like an actual translator you'd have a good role I think yeah. about how many friends you'd have all over the world if you travel it'd be so yeah. cool like you would you'd be able to have some really yeah. cool Fuck, that's and, a hard one and learning experience. Yeah. learning other languages it really gives you other perspectives too because oh, like sure. some languages is like you know they have words that describe shit that english can't yeah. You know, they have like, you know, syntax and everything that's so wild and so much different. It's like a different way of of uh, thinking with different languages. It's very interesting. Mm. Mm. Uh, this guy just says some of y'all are fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that one. That one. Uh, would you rather be the smartest person in the world or the dumbest? However, whichever one you pick, your intelligence doesn't change. Everyone else's changes. Oh. So like either it's, so you keep your current intelligence as it is now. And either you're smarter than everyone else as you are right now, or you're dumber than everyone else as you are right now. If, Bro, if, I'll if, take the bullet and just be the dumbest one. This world needs as much help yeah, as it can get yeah. me. <laughs> true. Actually, I, so true. I'm worried about that, though, because I feel like if if I said dumber and, and everyone around me got smarter, what if they were like, what if they then were all like, Got into eugenics and we're like, all right, we're just gonna kill people below this threshold. What the fuck? Because then I would be a part of that. If they're now, smart I, enough, they I realize would, eugenics was wrong or some shit. No, nah, they, they'd get so smart, they'd just be like maximum efficiency, like AI people, and then they'd just be like, all right, okay. How smart like do you think this. you are? They don't have to be geniuses, <laughs> they just have to be smarter than you can. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> no, I mean, I think Matt's right. I think you yeah, have to take true. the bullet. Like, I'd, unless I'd you're take a genius. The bullet. It's it's kind of a question about power because I'd be so much happier if everyone else was smarter and I was stupid. I mean, yeah, and there's still room for growth, I suppose, not yeah. intelligence wise, but at least you could get oh, really but educated. But as you get, you get smarter, the, and the rest of the world gets smarter too. Because you you get you get all the benefits. Yeah. You get everything that they that they make. You yeah. get like the iPhone. It would just jump from the iPhone yeah. 10 you know to like the fucking iPhone yeah, 45 fuck in yeah, a year. Easy. Who cares about being smart, dude? You got a bunch of people smarter than you just taking care of you. Yeah, you know? like fuck that shit. Fuck yeah. it. Yeah, fuck it. Reckon, miss? Yeah, I reckon. Because no, like, I imagine you chose smart. You're the smartest. <laughs> Everyone was below you. I mean, it would be kind of rust. Cool. <laughs> I mean, be rust. I mean, yeah. like, yeah, it's a bit fucked because <laughs> you can't really do much, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Everyone would be looking to you for advice as well. You know that, right? Like, if you chose everyone is dumber than me, like, you were the smartest person on planet Earth. That's a lot of responsibility. Everyone's going to be asking you questions like, what do we do? Like, like, how do we do this? Yeah. Yeah. And you're like, oh, have a backy bong, I guess. I I totally, yeah. Yeah. You got to take them to the team. Uh, Would you rather have the ability to stop time and move freely and stop time uh, or have the ability to heal all wounds and diseases, including your own? Wounds and diseases. Wait, so he wants again? to get COVID cured. That'll be five dollars. <laughs> Fuck, he's, he's got a point. He's got Exploit a point. it for profit. Yeah. Well, are you going to go? Are people? you going to go on a TV and start praising what about how you can cure all things? Yeah, dude, and I'll be able to people prove it too. People are going to call in and pledge money to you. I'll be able to prove it too. Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> so just for Mason, because he didn't hear. Uh, so either you can pause time and you can move around freely while time's paused, or you have the ability to uh, cure all wounds and diseases, including your own. Oh, I'd cure for sure. Yeah, that's definitely the selfless yeah. thing to do. Does that, inc- <laughs> does that include mental disease? Does that include mental it's illness? It says yes. all diseases. Yeah, so everything, mm-hmm. every ailment, dude. It's, so it's I'll so it's like one, so yeah. it's like be be able to stop time and just do whatever. Or be literally fucking Jesus, yeah. just, you know? or, or literally be Jesus. <laughs> the guys made some edits to his co- uh, comment. This is a uh, jobby dude. He says, "When using time, stop. You do not age." So you could theoretically stop time forever and just live in a paradigm where like you never age and you could do whatever you want. But then everything's frozen around you. That's boring. Yeah, but you could like travel effectively. Well, I guess. If everything's frozen, you could like walk across water. Oh, you like Jesus either way. That's sick. Yeah, but I feel like by pausing time, there's just so much more things you could do that would be insidious. Mm. Like you just, you know, like the movie Click with with Adam Sandler. Wasn't Wasn't there a fucking scene where he pauses time and has sex with someone? Yeah, Click actually raised a lot of important moral questions about time travel. Yeah, <laughs> it really did. It really did. Like, you know, like, it would be so easy to commit any crime or hurt anybody and get away with it if you were just to pause time. All right, you've convinced me. I'm choosing time stop. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, I think wounds and disease. Of course. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I've just thought of one now. I don't know if it's actually a good one. Would you rather be able to slash no clip in real life? Oh. Meaning you could like fly and phase through walls with like nothing hurts you 
uh, or uh, God mode. <laughs> well, is it no clip also? Oh, well, no, no, yeah, God, no clip. So let's say we can't take any damage. Okay, so <laughs> no clip. You can still like get shot. Okay. Okay. Oh. You just don't get hurt from slamming into physical like walls. Yeah, but wouldn't you phase through bullets? Okay, let's just not dive too deep into my shit hypothetical. You either phase okay. through shit or you're invincible. So okay, so either I either I can mode, fly and mode. phase through shit or I'm invincible. I would. So God mode means that you can't die. Can it just you? Means can you, you take no HP damage? Can you slash kill in console? No. The God mode is a bad thing. I mean more just like that you're you're like invincible. Like so, so you have like nine 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 nine. Yeah, he's health. got a shit ton of health basically, yeah. and oh. it regens immediately. I'd probably do. I'd probably I'd probably go with fucking uh, no clip. How fast can I go? Like, think about like you know, Counter Strike no clip. <laughs> you know, like pretty I'd, quick. You're I'd zooming. Probably go. Probably go quicker than a plane. So yeah. I'd probably do that. I'd probably just be able to fucking yeah yeah, yeah no clip no for travel sure. would be sick for travel yeah. completely for travel. Someone tries to mug me. Yeah, up in well, the air. it doesn't matter if you're invincible though. So it tries to mug you. Yeah, but if they have a knife, they have a gun. I can just they stab you. You take the knife, then stab them back. Either True. or, you could use them as to escape dangerous situations. Like both also have really cool benefits. Like the no damage thing. Like let's say we're mm. we're chilling at Matt's apartment, and I want to leave. I can just walk off the balcony and just fucking like I'm good. Can you yeah. bring people through the walls with you? No. no, 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 no one else but yourself. I'd still take no clip. I take no clip. No clip is kind of a bitter meme because it's just you know you just be like, all right, guys, peace out. You just T pose and just fucking just go down, just zoom up, just go through the floor. You know, I feel like it'd just be it'd just be better because you'd be able to escape situations in God mode. You, like you could yeah. just be tied up. You still and not your, be able to do anything. Yeah, you still got default speed and shit. Yeah, and strength. So, mm. would you rather have a world uh, that? have spiders with long abdomen and slithers like snakes or snakes that are small and build webs inside your house oh that'd be cool they're like little mini snakes going <laughs> around this is such a strange one what would you rather snakes? have spiders with a long abdomen and slithers like snakes so it's just like a long like almost like a centipede like spider but oh. really long like the size oh. of a so you could have a oh, spider sorry. the size of a massive boa constrictor and like it slithers around like i'm gonna fucking kill you and shit or uh snakes that are small and build webs inside your house. Probably the snakes. Small snakes. Probably the small snakes. Yeah. I'd probably take the spiders. You reckon? Yeah, because like, it'd be pretty hectic to fight them. I feel like a little, if I saw a little small snake doing webs Dude. in my house, I wouldn't even be that scared. I've been, like having a a, I've been having a fucking war with this fucking spider that's hiding out in my office. It, it's honestly <laughs> been... Fucking terrible. A war. Have it's, you seen it, it again? Dude, it's been Is a it war. It's a big one. I, I, I'm on the phone with my friend from back home. We're, we're just chilling. I baked as fuck. I walk into my room. I'm just kind of pacing around. I turn around. There's a spider dangling right in front of my fucking face. And I just start screaming on the phone. Being like, whoa, what the fuck? You know, just fucking yelling at this <laughs> spider. And my friend's like, dude, are you okay? He's not someone broke in. So I said, I'll be, I'll be right back. And I hung up. I went to get a fucking sandal. I went to smack it. I missed it. Went somewhere. Uh, I, I, I just couldn't be in my office for the rest of the night. And so I, I fucking called my friend, told him what happened. He was like, oh, that's a shame. It's probably dead. And then fucking t two days ago, I'm, I'm <laughs> playing a game. Uh, and, and, I, and, it, and, and there's something in my peripheral that's kind of like moving. And I'm like, oh, what's that? And I look over, and it's the same fucking spider two inches in front of my face. And I just fucking scream. I just go, ah! And I just fucking, just fucking doing this and getting up and just fucking doing like that. I ran out, same thing. Couldn't fucking find it again. So it, it's still in my office somewhere. Mm. Going to do the same fucking thing. I'm going to fucking murder it. It's going to be a painful death for that little fuck. I mean, he's just chilling, bro. Like, no, he's not. He's terrorizing me. Every time he like sees you come in like this, we're like, man, again, like, bro, fuck Dude, oh. just Why stay in the corner. Stay, just in, stay in the corner. Don't fucking drop down in front of my face when I try to play games. Uh, <laughs> he's just saying good day, man. No, he can say good day from up there. Oh, Wave at me God. after munching on a mosquito. Don't get all of my business. <laughs> Come on, it's called social distancing. He's just trying to share, man. You're the one being weird. I'm okay, saying. whatever. He's dead. On that, murder uh, him. Would you rather always feel like there's a small rock in your shoe or <laughs> oh. always have chip crumbs in your bed? Oh. oh. That's a tough one because sleep is so important, but also like who wants to have a fucking rock in their shoe the whole time? How big is this rock? It's like enough to be uncomfortable, you know, like enough for you to really size. feel like, like it would just be like, oh, like the size of your fingertip, maybe like a little pebble size. Yeah, yeah. I'll just, I'll just walk on the ball of my feet. You know, People are going to think you have like I mean, a limp or some shit. Walk like a, t like a T-Rex. 
like you could learn to walk on your tiptoes. Yeah, yeah well, if like, you just you learn get some really strong fucking calves and just <laughs> like <laughs> march. Look like a weird like goat person. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like a really <laughs> Well, surely you could learn to sleep and not like roll over on the crumbs, you know, to sleep yeah. on your back. Like it'll be kind of crunchy when you first lay down, but then after that, it's good. You, you can know? always like move your back up and down too on on your bed to like scratch it. Yeah, wait, do, like, True. do you <laughs> have to like brush it off every morning when you get up? Yeah, more. more I, yeah, man, I'm going rock in my shoe because, like, man, it's gonna be a real deal breaker when I bring a girl home from the club. Oh, this chip shit, comes in yeah, my yeah, day, right? <laughs> <laughs> like, dude, what the fuck, bro? Like, just, thinks I'm just eating Doritos every night obsessively. Yeah. <laughs> rock in my shoe, hundred percent. I'll learn to live with it. It's like a wheelchair answer. everywhere. I mean, after you said that one, I'll probably yeah. take the crumbs and ask with itch. <laughs> yeah, back. right? Be pretty handy. Yeah, Maybe you learn to love saying. it. Maybe you like the chips. Yeah, if, if, if you bring home what a bitch... What flavor chips do you get to pick? You get to pick. Yeah, you get, oh, pick. Oh, yeah. you get a free snack all the, the time. Yeah. It's like the world's hottest Doritos. <laughs> <laughs> just constantly warming you up. <laughs> or it's salt and vinegar. Oh, you if you bring someone like back, just use the couch. You're good. Salt and vinegar would be fucking disgusting. What? You got promised salt and vinegar chips? Yeah, it would be fucking smelly, bro. Oh, yeah, good point. It would be so smelly. <laughs> this is a really good one. So would you rather only be able to communicate by strumming your dick on people in Morse code? <laughs> so like, like you're literally like hitting your dick on the way, do, 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 like that. Or a dark clothed guy always follows you and yells everything you think. <laughs> 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 That, oh, that's the most that, creative that, one. Because, yeah. That because I would just, if he yells anything I think, I like would, I would, like some crazy dude I would walk up in front of a police station and just start thinking like, I have a bomb. I'm going to fucking, I'm going to blow up the precinct. I have a gun. I'm going to murder people. Like, and just think that uh, and have him guy, scream yeah. it. And then, and then I'll just be like, guys, look. And then and the cops come out and deal with him. And then yeah, I have to worry about I like that idea. Yeah. But like the next day he comes back somehow. Under mysterious circumstances. Oh, I can have I can have so much fun with that though, because I can just be like, you know, just kind of be absent-minded or, uh-huh. or or think quietly, so he's muttering, mm-hmm. and then and then as soon as I'm in a play a, a public place, I'll just have him scream just it's like crazy shit. shit. <laughs> yeah, just yeah, that'd be crazy fun shit. But you know? like, there you're you're very much thinking on like the fun side of this. Think about everyone you know. It's like, dude, who's this weird dark clothed guy who's so, following you around and just have, yelling shit? I have no idea. And then just have him, because he'll always be around in proximity, and he'll just have him start yelling. And, and so you'll start thinking, like, I'm, my name's Jeff, and I, I have serious <laughs> mental problems. <laughs> my, or something. Jeff, my name's Jeff. And they're like, man, yeah. it's fucking, I'm so, so sorry you have to deal with that. It's like, hey, dude, anytime. <laughs> you know, here's, here's a, you know, can I ask for money? <laughs> what, what about what from child, like, from the moment you're a baby, though? You got this dark clothed guy in the room <laughs> thinking like, feed me! Like, <laughs> like I constantly are like, I just shit my pants! I'd probably, I'd probably go with the dark clothed guy. I, I can have a lot of fun with that. Just for fun. Just for fun. Yeah. Yeah, I guess like you could kind of use him as your wingman too. Like let's say you're in a bar, you see a cute girl. You just get something like, hey, that guy's really hot. You should give him your number. <laughs> or something like that, you know? Like... I mean, yeah. it probably wouldn't work. She'd probably just scream and run away. Yeah, but. I don't know. I feel like well, I could... Well, she'd scream and run away if you're trying to talk to her, smacking your dick on her either way. So. That's, that's thing. true. Lesser even. Like, it's hard to ask a girl's number with your penis. Like, you know, yeah. that's that's kind of the problem is that do, all communication would essentially become sexual assault. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, would you rather have to execute one child live on television? With or what? With anything. Oh, awesome. Or 25 children discreetly in the woods. No one finds out. Oh, 25. That's a real fucked up one. 25 is a lot of trigger pulls. I don't know. Does the kid deserve it? Oh, yeah. Like, they've definitely been a bad boy. Ah. <laughs> they definitely, like, how young deserve we, a timeout. How young are we talking? <laughs> uh, let's say anywhere 5 to 10. Wait, what was that one? So either you execute, uh, you have to execute a child live on television. Or you have to execute 25 children discreetly in the woods and no one ever finds out. I mean, the 25, if you're going to kill one, you might as well like... Are they orphans? <laughs> no. The ones in the woods? No. Then their parents will find out, right? No, their, their parents will find out that they're missing, but they'll never find out anything oh, about the circumstance of the of the death or the it's kidnapping. Like, it's like when I want to when I want to ruin... I mean, when I go to jail for executing the nope, kid you get on live, live TV? You get to live your life however you want to live. Hmm. No one ever finds out. I mean, you have to know that the, you murdered the one, the 25 one on, No, the one on live TV. Oh. Yeah, people are going to judge you differently. Like, dude, you killed that fucking kid on live TV. No, nah, everyone's like, the kid had it coming. Oh. <laughs> oh, then We'd be a hero then. Okay. Yeah, of course. <laughs> yeah, I mean, maybe not. I mean, I'm just making up, you know. 
on live TV. I don't know. What do I get to use? Anything? Uh, anything. Have some fun with it, dude. It's a show. Come your on. Your bare hands. <laughs> <laughs> or your shark like, hands, whichever one. I think, obviously, it, it's a, the right thing to do is to kill one child over 25 children. Okay? If you choose anything else, you're being selfish. You it's know? true. Either you way. Know, I mean, that's just 25 kids. And it's like a lot of trigger pulls. And it's just a lot of effort. Well, you're really concerned about the effort well, of pulling like the trigger? So much, so much effort, bro. <laughs> What if they're like running away? You could have like a car. You hit him with a car. Use your imagination. Yeah, you could kill him all at oh, once. You, go like, you could do like I could get like a giant bowling ball and put it in and have them yeah. arranged and see if I can get a strike. You get a bunch of deodorant cans and <laughs> <laughs> fucking blow it up like the Millennium Falcon you're gonna do later. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah I mean, let's live, live on television. Surely, uh, would you rather walk backwards for the rest of your life or talk backwards for the rest of your life? Probably walk backwards. Yep. 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 You could have like a thing that replies it. You could. Yeah. You could do that. uh, You would have to literally have a mechanism that, yeah, you record and then replay it every time. Yeah, it wouldn't be too hard. But walking backwards is kind of funny, though. Yeah, and just have like a rear view mirror coming out of my chest. (laughs) Yeah, and a shirt on on the back of it says, sorry, I have a condition. (laughs) (laughs) I can run pretty fast backwards. Yeah? Yeah. Like. I mean, like you, you can't yeah, go yeah, yeah, you yeah, 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 with the tripods, one. but like I could probably beat. I don't know. I don't know who I could beat in a race. I could race Matt and probably beat him going well, back. Going back, probably. You're, you're just concerned yeah. about how your ability to run races. <laughs> 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 uh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I. That's a fuck. That's actually maybe one of the hardest ones yet. What? <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. Harder than killing children. <laughs> harder than fucking your parents. Yeah. This is the this is the deal breaker for me. I actually don't know. I think that. uh if I had to say, it would be talk backwards. Because hmm. at least it's kind of a cool, it's a kind of cool anecdote. Yeah, but there goes your job. Depends on your job. True. I just mean like I couldn't make There's a video a anymore if I had to talk, talk backwards. Talk. You could probably make a killing as a streamer. Really? You know, like like just, who the fuck is this guy? You just have it built in and everyone would probably oh, find it really entertaining. True, yeah. like, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and then it's like, hello, welcome back to my stream. <laughs> like a computer takes a speech voice reads it back. <laughs> I don't know. Could be cool. Move it on. You uh, go to take a shit in a busy public bathroom. You have two stalls to choose from. Mm-hmm. Would you rather shit in the stall that has a door that only blocks the view of your face or the stall that has a door that only blocks the view of your genitals? So it's either your, your fucking face is hidden, but your body is completely exposed taking a shit, <laughs> or just your face is peering through the door. And it's a busy, crowded oh, public I'd say restroom. just your face. Just my face, because I'd there. stare at people and be like, you know, and talk to them like, where yeah, the I'm fuck are you looking at me? Yeah. <laughs> it's not my fault there's a fucking hole in the door. Yeah, fuck <laughs> you. Face the front. Turn around. Oh, shit, there's a mirror there that can still see me. Uh, <laughs> get out of here. <laughs> yeah. yeah, probably that one. Uh, on Valentine's Day, would you rather have roses on your piano or tulips on your organ. What the fuck? This uh, guy's just looking. Funny. What is that? Is that a joke? Like two lips on your organ. Oh. Uh, is that uh, really what it means? It's like a pun. This guy says in both cases, you have to fuck your dad for some reason. Well, <laughs> that seems to be the case. Why is everyone talking about fucking my dad? I'm out of here. Yes, yeah, same here, actually. I think we're done with the Richard Rodney <laughs> yeah, question. Fair enough. <laughs> um, What's the time? Well, we're almost at I think an it's hour, about an hour. So we could probably call it here. Is there anything that we wanted to add? Do you guys have your own would you rathers that you know from the past? Hmm. Um, would you rather have hair for teeth or teeth for hair? Fuck that. Teeth for hair. Teeth for hair? I mean, that's kind wait, of metal. Hair, wait. For, te- hair so for teeth, you wouldn't wait, be able to like, chew so, it. So literally, there's a bunch of teeth like, on but, your head. But would your teeth Let's be normal? Bald. Yeah, you have normal teeth and teeth on your head. You or normal hair and hair. And that's, and that's teeth... For hair everywhere on your body. It includes oh. pubic hair. So that includes oh. pubic hair. That includes your, your, can you your shave eyelashes. Them? Can, yeah, can you, you shave them? No, you, you wouldn't be able to shave them. They would, they would grow out and... Yeah, they would just grow out. So are we talking Shut. like dreads out of teeth or just like teeth? We're just teeth talking everywhere. about little teeth everywhere yeah, and not an Actually, even spread. Some would, be can, some would be canines, oh. some would be molars, some hair would be front teeth. teeth. Hair for teeth. Oh. You can snip that shit and yeah. then just put in hair. dentures. Ugh. You just have to shave your teeth every morning. That's all. Instead of brushing them, that's probably honestly that's probably easier. Just a quick snip with the razor, put in your dentures. You don't have to brush your teeth. <laughs> um, yikes! But like, think about how weird making out would be when you got hair for teeth. It'd be like making out with a fucking broom. Yeah, how weird oh. it'd be making out. She goes to like r- rub your face and they're just fucking yeah, teeth dude, there. Yeah, like, should have like yeah, <laughs> true. Also, five o'clock shadow, little baby teeth everywhere. 
<laughs> yeah, if you yeah, pliers, is that how you shave them? They start as baby teeth and slowly grow. Yeah, you need pliers or, or just cover them in sugar <laughs> until they all get cavities and then you rip them off. I'm saying, but they, the, the nerve endings would would still be there. You still be able to. So feel you have it. to fucking pull a tooth every time you want to shave. Yeah, hair for teeth, hands down. And hair for teeth, they can't really chew anything. But you can't trim the, You can't trim the hair on your teeth, and it can grow down to your throat. Oh. Uh. Or you can have it coming out of your mouth. Well, I'm I'm saying teeth for hair because it's it's metal as hell, and I think you could own it in a way that's like yeah, I'd say that too. So would they have to be like molars and shit and like yeah, no, it'd just be everything on top of your head and and, and then your armpits and your pubic hair and your ass hair. So oh, everything would armpits. be teeth. Everything oh. would be teeth. Doesn't that oh, hurt your skin what? when you're going on a run when you're fucking got teeth? Everything, fucking everything would be teeth. Your armpits. Oh, what the fuck? You'd have to be in like a permanent T pose. <laughs> yeah. Teeth pose, or just wear teeth like, or, or just wear like foam balls underneath your arms at all times. I'm imagine sorry, how, I have a condition. <laughs> I have a condition. <laughs> you imagine how long brushing would take, though. Yeah, dude. But imagine <laughs> headbutting someone. Yeah, you would be It'd be lethal. An absolute fucking weapon, wouldn't you? Yeah, it would um, be pretty cool. Teeth for hair. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'd probably yeah, go teeth, teeth for hair because it's just a little cooler than having hair for teeth. Hair for teeth is kind of like soft. It's it, kind of lame. It's kind of lame. It's kind of it's kind of just disgusting too. I don't know. You get you'd always have, you have food so in your many hair. molars though. Like think of all the things that get stuck in between your teeth on your head and shit. Would you rather have yeah. would you rather have no arms or no legs? That's a classic. Um No legs. You could do more with your yeah, hands. Yeah, no legs. Sturdy. No For legs. Sure. Have yeah. you have you seen cunts move around uh with no legs? Like there was a guy who was born without legs mm -hmm. and he did this whole TED talk on prosthetics and how like you know, everyone expected him to be like, you know, to, to have fake legs and look human. They were stiff and, and he was unable to move. And he was like, yeah, well, these prosthetics are fucking stupid because I can't really do anything with it. And so he like would make he made his own like skateboard, like w with like a torso mount that he could like mount into and then just fucking push himself around on well, a skateboard. He made a ski uh, for like when he would go to the snow, he would he would go down on like a mono ski. It was pretty fucking sick. Oh, I that remember cool. I've seen those. those are yeah. There was a guy. Cool. I saw there was one guy. He had like no legs and he had the wrestle. Mm. And he's so like, he was just like, it's by weight classes though. So you mm. go to wrestle this guy who's in your weight class. He's like half your size. But he's just fucking ripped. Yeah, he's just <laughs> big ass arms fuck. coming at What's you. What's that? Fucking Geo dude. <laughs> yeah, Geo dude. Yeah. Let's <laughs> go Geo dude. Yeah, he's oh, wild. Shit. Yeah, I'd probably go without legs. Yeah. Because the, the prosthetics for legs are just so much cooler. Mm. Then the prosthetics for arms. We yeah. still have a ways to go. Guys, uh, would you rather drink a Red Bull or a Gamer Subs? Gamer Subs. Gamer Subs. Uh, 100, 100 fucking percent. Gamer Subs. Gamer Subs, dude. Go to GamerSubs.gg. Pick yourself up some gamer energy today. It's not chalky oh. and garbage like G Fuel. Ugh. Ugh. Yeah. Disgusting. I, make, even saying that name makes me want to fucking Ugh. throw up. So gross. Yep. Guys, GamerSubs.gg. This, this, this shit got me through last week, dude. Without, without this shit, I wouldn't have been able to upload those three fucking videos. Yep. So there you go. There you go. GamerSubs.gg. Code Misfits. Let's go. Let's go. That's the end of the show, guys. Thank you for listening to our uh, Would You Rather's <laughs> that I stole from Reddit. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was pretty good. It was fun. Was I like it, it, was a, it was like the cursed question q and A. I I literally like, decided to do that like in the pre-show like five seconds before we started as well. <laughs> so good idea. We that pretty well. <laughs> guys, we love you. Stay safe out there. We'll see you next week. Bye. Yeah. Cheers. Thanks. Bye. Bye-bye.